What's up guys, this is Owen Ninja Warren, a Reardus and Superhero Hat, bringing you another video here on the Modern Ninja channel. And today we are finishing off the mini-series of how we can do the Saturn Rings trick. This combination consists of three major tricks that allow you to go and spin the bow stuff around you in a similar way to Saturn's rings, hence the name. Now I have three parts before this video of how to do each individual trick, and so if you haven't seen that yet, definitely check out the links down below uh, and watch those videos because they're kind of important. However, if you are caught up to date, we're gonna use this video to put all those tricks together and I'm gonna give you a couple of tips on how you could make this trick flow a little better when you're showing off on TikTok, Instagram, or, or competitions or whatever you use this combination for. But first, we got to uh, run that intro. So uh, since I have you here, it would be really great if you could leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more of this stuff. If you like me breaking down combinations like this one, uh, let me know in the comments and I will do more. You know, I like seeing your comments, I like replying to you guys, and so yeah, let me know what you guys think. So, one thing that I haven't showed you guys yet in this series is how to start this combination. This combination is going to start with what we call a hand roll. It's super easy, especially compared to the other things. The first hand roll going forward is going to have thumbs up just like this, and it's going to rock over the front of your hand, and it's going to roll over the back, and you're going to catch it just like this. Now, going backwards, you're going to come up over the pinky and have it roll again across the back of your hand. So it'll look like going one way and then going the other way, rolling on the back of your hand. Now, the way we make this move into a figure eight to start off our trick so that we have the momentum going into it is forwards in front of you. You're going to turn it behind you and backwards behind you, just like that. So forwards hand roll in front and backwards hand roll behind. This sets you up with the momentum to come through and do your first neck roll. Now, once you do that neck roll, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to slide back just a little bit. Just take a little step back as you pop up your uh, horizontal helicopter toss. The reason you do that is it makes it look like you're farther away from your bow step than you actually are, making the trick look that much more impressive when you do it for others in video or in competition or anything like that. So one more time, coming around, pop, stepping back, popping around, just like that. All together, coming around, just like that. Just flowing into that next motion. It helps you keep that momentum going instead of stopping and stopping and stopping between each trick. So to get everyone caught up one more time, we have our forwards hand roll, backwards hand roll behind us, neck roll, helicopter toss. Now from this, you're going to immediately go underneath the armpit, going over the shoulder and catching underneath. It's hard to go slow motion, but you don't want to stop it once you catch. Once you catch here, everyone's natural reaction is to stop and then go for it. No, that's not how this combination goes. You have to catch it and use that spin that it already has to go underneath your armpit just like that. Once you catch, go underneath. You should be able to get it under your armpit far enough so that you can actually grab it with, your, with that same right hand. So one more time, that last little section flows together just like that with the unspin and there you go there's your combination all together your flow should be nice and smooth your pacing should be not too fast so that you lose control but not in slow motion so that you can actually keep the momentum going in your trick so it should look something like this All right guys, so if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. I will answer as many questions as I can regarding this. If you need any tips or tricks to help you guys make this a little smoother and a little easier to understand. If 
uh, you like this series, if you liked me breaking down combinations, and let me know because I will do more. I'll do some for the sword. I'll do some for nunchucks. I'll do more bow staff ones. I'll just, you know, I'll do what you guys like. So just let me know if you do like it. But with that said, don't forget to do all the different YouTube stuff like like, comment, subscribe. It really does help me uh, make more videos and it does, you know, it helps me get it out to more people that might want to see it. So with all that said, my name's DJ Moore. This is the Modern Ninja and I'm out.